Hey everybody, what's happening? Welcome to another awesome episode of Press Start TV. This week we're going to be talking about games of September. It's almost September, uh, but we're going to talk about all the new games coming out in September. And we're going to talk Whee. about uh, Battlefront. I know you guys are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of you guys that are excited about that game, so we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, as well as some other news with uh, Mario Maker and games like that. So, my name's Will, this is Nine. Yep. This is Gage. Hi. And let's get into this. So, games of September. Is there any one game that you're super excited about? Let me go over the first okay. one. Mad Max. Nope. Nope. I'm going to say yeah. I'm kind of excited about Mad Max. I'm binging on who, who was... Uh, he, I played I was worried I about played the it. combat. I played it. I was worried about the combat. He played it. Let's combat it. is great. The How's the driving, Gage? The driving's terrible. Uh, the driving's really bad in that game, so from I what I played. The demo we played early on, I think later it's going to get pretty cool, and it was just a demo, so we'll see. Combat... It's pretty brutal. It definitely gets the feeling of Max. You, I mean, I like how you can beat people. The combat is brutal. I don't know that yeah. it lends itself to the longevity of the game because I think it could get old pretty quickly. The driving between... Well, I mean, the biggest focus of the game is the driving. I mean, that's the it's biggest It's 60% focus of, of the movies. game. I mean, yeah. It's and I didn't want to drive for five game. minutes. That's how like, thrown out I was so quickly. Tell you what, Far Cry 2 driving was a nuisance. Yeah. Was, didn't play Far Cry 2. Yeah, it was a big game. Just went into three. Um, Terrible. But uh, Mad Max looks pretty cool. Hopefully, the story can uphold those big drives in between and the combat and whatever else you can do. Think of Wind Waker. A great game, but you still had to traverse a lot of open seas. And That's what I hated about Assassin's Creed 4. Great game. I hated the boats. Well, maybe Mad Max is a like great vehicles, game. But he likes racing games. I do like racing games. Sense. And there are racing games on this but list. But his opinion is not the only opinion that counts. So. Anyway, uh, Mad Max, look out for that. Metal Gear Solid, this game's been coming, and finally it's going to drop. Finally. Finally. Uh, eh, super excited. <laughs> so once again, opinions differ. Um, it doesn't matter. I just I, I haven't been into Metal Gear since Metal Gear Snake Eater. Did you guys play Ground Zeroes? I play Ground Zeroes. I have it downloaded on my Xbox Ground right now. Zeroes. Play it right now. I'll go home and play it. Good stuff. Yeah, it's good. Five minutes. Yep. You beat it in uh, five minutes. Phantom Pain is going to be, I know you, you got it. Yeah, I, I really hope so. I really hope they're holding back because a lot of what they're showing is like what the engine can do and like the gameplay that you can do. Yeah. You don't see much story related whatsoever. You I really seen hope it's got a deep, strong story. I don't hope, but you haven't, we haven't seen a story trailer since they announced the game. Yeah, and even then, it well, wasn't that's much a, of a that's story. That's a strong trailer. point to any Metal Gear <laughs> game. It, they, if you went back and tried to piece together what has actually happened, it's a very convoluted you can't, story. Because it's, all the games tough. are out of order. It's like it's a tough. it's like a history class you have to take in high school. It takes that long to explain. Okay, then we're going to talk about yeah. Resident Evil. Well, it's like history chapter, classes throughout Metal Gear. high school. Like you start with this period in history, and then you jump to this one, and go back to this one, and then jump to this one. It's so weird. <laughs> Moving uh, on. Me, uh, so, so those come out the same day. So. Yep, same day. Uh, the first. I yep. Think. Yep. Um, Super Mario Maker. Yes. Super Mario Maker, ton of fun. Gage, you actually had uh, some more uh, hands-on time with this game of, of, of actually seeing what people can do with this thing. Yeah. Tell us a little bit, how awesome is this game going to be? It's really cool, but I don't know. It, it's really cool for people who know what they're doing with games to make games cool. I mean, like I, if I, if it's guy. fun for the creative type. Yes, if I, if I got my hands on it. Too. I'm not a creative If I got yes. my hands on it, I wouldn't know what I could do with it, but I mean, aspect. I've played it a little bit, and I've seen what other people who are really creative can do with it. I'm interested to go in there and play what other people can do sure. rather than make my own stuff. All um, I know. Of course, we're going to talk more about Mario Maker later in the episode. Yeah. But well, and we're talking about games of September, all of these new games that you'll be playing very soon. Uh, again, you're watching, listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. This Oop. is Gage. Hi. Uh, so, Forza 6. Yeah, Forza 6. Yeah? Well, I like the Horizon yeah. series better. But do you I like, really? I like yeah, the I world stuff. I'm not much of a sim racing kind of person. I mean, I, I think Forza is probably my favorite up there for favorite racing game. History of success. Uh, we did a great interview at E3. Uh, Microsoft's that presentation events. was awesome. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool because stuff. Because they dropped a GT1 out of the ceiling. Well, it does that, but we actually got the interview at the, so the cool. conference. Uh, really cool stuff. So check that out on our YouTube channel. Um, Looks like a great game. Forza, like I said, a history of success. Hopefully this one can deliver as well. Uh, FIFA 16. Hey, they got our best sports game. Yes, they did. Award at E3. Absolutely. <laughs> Past um, that. <laughs> worthy oh, yeah. worthy of it, by the way. FIFA yeah. looks awesome this FIFA's year, for awesome. sure. With the inclusion of female teams. Yeah. Pretty sweet. And the the double, nice addition. double cover. Yes. So, yes. male and female teams on the cover. That's, um, that's Morgan. NBA 2K16. Actually, I'm more. If I'm excited for about one basketball game this month, it's that one. 
Right on, because uh, we had Dude, Mr. Dougie Vini on here uh, not too long. long ago from Good Game Bro. Check out that episode as well. <laughs> uh, but he was mentioning all the cool things that you can do with that game. 2K this year looks really, really good. NBA Live, you know. Uh, the Live series, not that great. It hasn't been for a long time, but trying to reboot it. I don't know much about this year's version of it to even talk about it. So Maybe they're still making live. They didn't for a long time, but they came okay. back. They made last well, year. Now they're, here's I another one, okay. but I I just thought 2K has been rolling with the uh, basketball 2K series. 2K is the superior series. It, for sure, and, and we'll see how good live is this year. It's Hopefully it can stand up to it. 2K? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 2K, 2K and the EA 2K. makes live. That's what I'm saying. 2K is making, or EA is making 2K this year. And don't, 2K. Don't, don't confuse don't, the viewers. Don't. <laughs> Tony Hawk. We're here. Let's talk about this for a Okay, yeah, that real is, quick. I was excited for this. Uh-oh, what happened? They completely destroyed everything Tony Hawk about this game. Yeah, they overhauled the whole How graphics two months before they, release. Before release, they completely rebuilt it to be a cel-shaded, weird-looking... Oh, yeah. Kind of looks like Sunset Overdrive. Yeah, it doesn't look right at all. Not a all. fan of that graphic style? No. Or? I like that graphic style in a game that it fits in, like Sunset Overdrive and Borderlands. That's great. It fits. It's cartoony, it's fun, it's wacky. About it. Are you willing to give it a chance? Skating. I'm willing to give it a chance. Uh -oh. I will not give it a second chance. <laughs> okay. First impressions have to be very strong with that. Sixty dollars is pretty steep for this. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time not. coming too. They might have put a lot of production into it. Not with the cell shading. How do that you know? That was a weird slap. This game's in the face, been a long time man. coming. They did botch up the <laughs> God, <laughs> God. <laughs> What was it? So Turn now you got me nervous. Now you got me nervous. Ride We're downhill ride jam. Goodness. We'll see how it comes out. <laughs> Lastly, Lugged Emissions. Um, yeah. Looks like fun. We don't looks have like a lot of time to talk about fun. this game. We should move this to the third segment. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about Lugged Emissions in a little bit. Yeah, when we get really back, we'll be about talking about Star Wars Battlefront. I know you're excited about it right after this. Hey, welcome back. We just got done talking about the games of September, and now we're going to be talking about EA, Star Wars Battlefronts. And coming up, we have some more great games that we're going to be talking about, so we'll get into that here in a little bit. You're watching and listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. This yep. is Gage. Hi. All right. Battlefront. Nine, we'll start off with you. I know you're super excited about me. this game. Star Wars! Tell us of all the reasons why you love Battlefront. The only thing I like about Battlefront is that it's Star Wars. All right, cool. Fair enough. Moving on. <laughs> Everything um, else can just get flushed down the toilet. So the single player campaign. Sure. What single um, player campaign? So few people actually uh, play the single player campaign in these types of games, i.e. Titanfall, whatever. Because there is no single player campaign. I mean, but there is a campaign. What can one expect to get playing the game by themselves? Do Nothing. we know yet? What, from Battlefront? Yeah. Uh, there's not really anything for... Uh, I mean, you can play the challenge of single player. I think you can play the maps with bots single player. Past that, you're not getting a story. You're not getting a story. No, there is. Story. In order to campaign. get the story, you have to play What's, online. There's no story. There is no, there's no story. story. It's just, just, just multiplayer. As far as I know, you just play it. Just maps? Yeah. It's just maps that take place on places in the movies. Sure. Like, literally, the only thing about this game that makes it Star Wars is the name Star Wars. Is that the same... Formula the previous Battlefront games have had? Uh, well, the Battlefront games have never had a big story mode. I mean, there have been single player modes where you can just kind of play through. I think in the first one, there was a story mode where you played a map, got a small scene from the movie, played a map <coughs> going over. The second one was you played through what they called was story mode, but yeah. it, there was, was some kind of dialogue there. It wasn't match after, much. Match after, match after, so, so the yeah. games like Titanfall or Evolve or whatever, whether it's just they're trying to get, or even Destiny, I guess you can almost put in there to some extent. But I they mean, ship with the story. Do, do we do we care story that there's no story? Or? Uh, I don't care. I, I'm fine with I there not being a story. I play games for story. Okay, but I mean, not two different sides. Here we go. So this, I knew this was gonna happen. So even I, games with multiplayer aspects. This is a multiplayer focused game. I'd rather so than Call of Duty. I'd well. And they put they, a whole campaign into that. Yeah, but they got a three-year cycle on Call of Duty now, and they yeah, got three. Different how long have they been working on this? Two years? That long? L L when okay. they just get the, they just got the license for Star Wars to work over there. Yeah. Okay, and most of the time, until last year, they've had two years to work on Call of Duty. 
I so your argument is invalid. I don't think so because Dice is an online multiplayer kind of developer. You know when they develop Battlefield, the Battlefield stories, no one plays them, would, and they're always terrible. Say it's uh, invalid, no, but I would say that your bad company and bad company two point. are two of the best stories. And that was a totally Call of Duty argument. All is by Dice. a good argument. And that was a totally different time for multiplayer a big shooters. Multiplayer type thing <laughs> in Call of Duty, but having that campaign is a big part of it. I certainly think Titanfall, for example, Something. should have had. Had a campaign because it deserved a campaign. I don't no, know what you're doing. It should have had a dedicated campaign and not a multiplayer focused campaign. But didn't didn't someone announce somebody else is working on a Star Wars game? There is another Star Wars game development yeah, that is Bounty story based. Hunter or whatever it's called. That Amy Hennings was working on it. This yeah. world. It's, a, it's an RPG. They're they've got it going. You're getting a story based Star Wars game. Don't With that worry. Game. So this one's just kind of like a. A lot of people compare it to a Battlefield type of experience, just skinned over with Star Wars. I think it's a little bit more than that. It feels more like Star Wars. It doesn't feel like Battlefield, but I would rather have a full team working on, if they're going to work on a multi, a massive multiplayer game, focus on that. Don't worry about a story. I don't care that there's no story. It doesn't bother me at all. By the way, we're, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. This is Nine. Yep. I'm Will. This is Gage. Yep. We're talking about Star Wars Battlefront. and. Um, if the campaign or lack thereof of this game matters. I mean, I can tell you when we played it at E3, Gage and I had a chance to uh, sit down with the game, play the game at uh, Hoth, I believe. Yep. We were on the Rebel side. But at the same time, you guys got to play one 10 minute match. And I got to say, it was pretty fun. Minutes. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Whatever, 15 minutes. You spent 15 minutes with the game. Yeah. Okay. It was fun. I spent 15 mean, minutes with a lot of games. A lot of games that I don't I like certainly for think minutes. that the game has a lot more to offer other than what we experience. I hope that it can deliver on the hype and it is deserving. I hope is for it, your off sake it doesn't tank. Well, I mean, you, you brought up a good point. It does have Star Wars <laughs> in the name. I mean, this it's, is a franchise that's beloved that's by millions that can't screw it up. I don't, I don't, I don't think Dice is going to screw it up. I think it's going to get a lot of backlash between the community because of what it is and what it's not going to be. The first year Dice has a hold of Star so Wars. So already, do they, they, do they not deliver on the hype because it doesn't have a campaign? I think the hype might be too big to deliver on. I think that's the same reason why Valve's not making Half Life Three. There's too much hype. And yeah, I think you know, Valve just can't count the three. Well, there's that. Here we have again. Fallout Four though. A lot of hype behind that. That's not. But I'm just saying that they're why they're yeah, but Fallout 4 has reason to have hype. Look at that game. <laughs> yeah, but, exactly. But between they, that, I mean, Valve's not developing anything, and there's not a lot of hype should. between Battle. Valve. I bet they will. Focused on hardware, hardware right now. Yeah, they'll break the internet when they announce that. But still, uh, Battlefront. I, I think you know it, it. It's gotta. It was fun. It, it was fun. It was creative how they dealt with like the boss battles mm -hmm. and some of the power-ups giving you control of some of the vehicles so it was cool but i do agree with ea in saying that games like this don't really need a, that a campaign or a deep campaign like call of duty's campaign's not I deep disagree. battlefield's campaign's not deep that doesn't halo is different because it's always been a story-driven game but they focus on multiplayer just as much and that you know, I would rather have bad company multiplayer. three than the next battlefield i mean okay. it's not like you don't have content with star wars it's already written for you. There's almost. content after content <laughs> after like, content for Star Wars. They could do... There's so much Star Wars content. Yeah, the content is... They have other games they could have built off of. Yeah, but it's basing around what you're playing on, your battlefields, things be, like that. They don't need to see, make a story. You know, it's a great conversation because... This is a huge, conversation too long for one episode. Huge <laughs> fans of Star Wars are Love expecting Wars. some kind of more substance. I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. I don't expect some... I want, I want my multiplayer experience with Star Wars. I want something that... I'm just happy we're getting a Star Wars game and a movie in the same year. I'll get my story with the movie. I'll wait for the Star Wars RPG but this is comes the out. First Thank you, Visceral. Next gen experience people are going to have with Star Wars. And it's and in my no opinion going to fall flat on its face. I disagree with that though. I, I think more people are going to buy it because it is just a multiplayer game then they're, they're like they're not going to be disappointed there's not a story in it. Okay, Destiny. Destiny is there's no story in like flat on its face with this story. <laughs> Okay, with the story, but the game has successfully it was okay for a sold while. tons and tons. I stopped playing it. It sold tons and tons. Morning, yeah. They focused on story and multiplayer, and it didn't pan out. And then they ruined the. Well, first now DLC. they've got a ton of hype. More people are getting to it now because of the hype with Taken King. And they're also getting a lot of negative backlash too. I don't. Anyway, we'll talk more about uh, that. We'll finish that conversation right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to the dance party. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so now we're going to talk <laughs> about uh, some, some awesome uh, 
more games. And we're going to talk about Mario Maker. We're going to talk about uh, Lego Dimensions, which we touched on earlier. We'll finish up our Battlefront conversation. And you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yo. This is Gage. Hi, Gage. Let's, uh, let's go back to yeah, Battlefront course, just for a quick it. second. Obviously, we're talking about if the campaign yeah. mattered and the multiplayer. <sighs> At the end of the day, it's going to be a great game. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be into it. It is more of a multiplayer online game. It but I think all you Star Wars fans a multiplayer online game. Will, will enjoy it. And... There you go. You had so. to get your two cents in there, didn't you? Let's yeah, just save I, I think it for the checkpoint. Sure. Just so save it for the checkpoint. Catch us on the checkpoint to argue more. Check out more uh, of that conversation. We'll talk about that more on Checkpoint. Uh, so give a listen to that. Um, so, Fantasy Star 2 Online is coming to PS4. Yes. First off, you butchered that title. Not correct. Title. Fantasy Store Online. Fantasy, Fantasy Star, Star Fantasy Online, Store. online oh, 2. No. <laughs> Fantasy Probably Star Online MMOs. 2. Is coming to PS4. I included I this this week because I know uh, Nine likes Fantasy Star Online. But Loved it. that's coming to Japan. There's no word on a yeah, Western it, release yet or U.S. release yet. There's a huge market in the U.S. Yeah, for it. I don't know sure. why they won't bring it. It's on PC out. only in Japan. That's going to be playable at Tokyo Game Show. I know several people that would play this game in a heart. Yeah. Well, let Capcom know they're going to pre-order it and they'll make it. I right gotta here. believe they'll they'll bring it. I mean, well, well see, the PSO two's been out on PC for over a year now. Yeah, and your PS4 is not region locked. The games are no, pretty I mean, much. You can get it. You, you gotta under, understand it. Japanese. Yeah. 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 But once again, I, I think big enough game. Hopefully, we'll see it here in the States. I didn't play the first one, but I recognized the controller from the GameCube that was this big I had with that. the keyboard. Of course, you did. Why wouldn't you? I also had it for Dreamcast with oh, the yeah. mouse. Yeah, I yeah. had it on both consoles. That's how much I played that game. Yeah, it was a great game. <laughs> I Dream paid $16 a month to play that game. You hear that, Japan? Dreamcast, Dreamcast had a, Look, it was a great game. Right place. here. I'll pay money for it. Just yeah. give it to me. Fancy Star. So, um, a great series, been around for a long time. Very Once again, time. hopefully it's uh, coming to the States. We'll see. But uh, everybody in Japan, enjoy uh, until, until it comes here. Lucky. Uh, Mario Maker uh, Creator, the creation tools take nine. Can you tell? Can you take a guess how many days it takes to unlock all the Let creation guess tools? This many. Nine <laughs> days. That's so weird to look at. <laughs> That's right, nine days. So, uh, basically, they want. They don't want the game to feel too overwhelming to people just getting into it. Like yeah. we talked about earlier in the show, uh, there's a lot to do in it. There's a lot to do in it, uh, and there, apparently there's a lot of tools. You, you unlock a lot of, you get a lot of things with Mario Maker. You get like all of Mario's assets ready to go. So what they're doing is with their tutorial, you play a little bit, you unlock the tools you're going to learn for the next day. Then they won't unlock until you play the second time. The next day. The next day. So each day they give you more yes. tools to use. They want to ease people into it and make a smooth transition through their tutorial so people can really make cool I, designs. I also think they're expecting people to keep playing with the tools they have available so that they master yep. those tools before they in move time on. before they move on to the next tool. Yeah, because like, you don't want to like forget about tools. Yeah, kind of like classroom setting. Yes. I mean, it's trying. It, this is a great teaching tool, and we've yeah. talked about that before. Oh, so. yeah. I love it. I think it's a. I think it's a good idea. It sounds good crazy idea. at first, but I think it's a good idea. Nope. It's uh, a little overwhelming with all the stuff they got in there, but I think what they're doing is smart. Yes. I agree. Totally agree. They want to turn you. <coughs> Game's gonna be fun. Can't wait to see the eight bit Yoshi. Yay. Uh, by the way, you're listening to Press Start TV. Uh, my name's Will. This is Nine. Yo. This is Gage. This is Gage. Uh, so yeah. Um, Mario Maker's gonna be great. Uh, I can't wait for that. That's gonna come out uh, in September. September 11th. I think 14th? something somewhere the there. 11th is a Friday. Nintendo games come out on Friday. And we'll see. Friday. All right, there you go. The 11th. Um, and uh, we also mentioned earlier in the show Lego Dimensions. We didn't have a whole lot of time to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, let's talk about Lego Dimensions. Let's this game. Talk about Lego Dimensions. This game. You and I played that yes. at E3. Um, I yeah, was, and now I'm upset that I didn't get to play it. <laughs> I was very impressed with. I, I, I just thought here's another. You know, you got Skylanders, and now you got uh, Amiibos, and you've got Disney Infinity, and now you've got Lego Dimensions joining the toy figure video game thing, Portal, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, this game's Lego, cool. Lego is the only one that actually feels like it belongs, like in that kind of genre. It's because like you've already got Lego figures. It's like yeah. toys have come full circle. Right, exactly. <laughs> You know? <laughs> now, walk me through the timeline of you seeing LEGO Dimensions and then now that you want to purchase LEGO okay. Dimensions. Let me I saw the trailer for LEGO Dimensions and thought it was cool. I was like, yeah, that's cool, but it's another LEGO game, which, I mean, LEGO games have always been fun. Cool. I haven't found a bad one yet. Uh, but then I realized that it was a minifigure game, and I was like, ah, I really don't want to spend the money on that again because I've already spent the money on Buku Disney Bucks. Infinity yeah. twice. 
And then they announced the Ghostbusters pack. There it is, everybody. That's and all I had to do. And I immediately had to have it. So yeah, now cool. I'm waiting for friggin' September 11th. To get no, it's here. like later in the month. Of Whatever. Whatever. I'm Whatever. still gonna buy. But it. it's interesting <laughs> to use the, the the portal is really interchangeable. You just plug, just pick them up, plug all them I in there. All I care about is Ghostbusters. And they have the different. It lights up different colors. Yep. They can use different. Uh, makes you think a little bit more how you can solve the puzzles. Yeah. I, I thought the gameplay was fun, and you know, I thought the changing in and out was interesting. The only thing I didn't like was like having to change players, uh, characters out that you needed to use for a ne uh, necessary. Like part. in a traditional Lego game. Yeah, you have I guess to have so. Certain characters. Well, that's what I said. It makes you think to who who to use for <coughs> that particular. Yeah, but then right. it's like me playing here, and then like, oh, okay. But the nice thing that's about part this of the too oh, okay. is yeah, exactly. You don't have to actually. To yeah. In like Skylanders or whatever, if you don't have the figure, you can't get there. In traditional Lego fashion, you had to unlock the character. Now all you have to do is find the character at a store, bring it home. Yeah, true. You don't have to actually un go through the hassle of unlocking. The there, there's something cool about like Scooby Doo and Gandalf. And I would love to have Scooby Doo <laughs> and Ghostbusters in like the same place. They're all like well, we had Batman, Wildstar, whatever, Wildfire, whatever her name is, and Chell walking through a portal level. A uh, portal, and, yeah. Yeah. And portal. All, That's all of a awesome. sudden. A wrecking ball comes through with Homer Simpson on it, and we're like, all right, yeah, this is a great <laughs> and, game. Another thing too is like Disney Infinity, players can't cross over to other worlds. Right now, in Infinity Two and Three, they have small crossovers where like the Marvel Universe crosses over with other Marvel universes. But this, every character is playable across every level of any world. It doesn't matter. Lego it's Dimensions just chaos. looks like fun. Check it out. Uh, by the way, if you want to catch any of our other content, you can check us out on youtube.com slash psvgtv, also at twitch.tv slash press underscore start underscore tv, and check us out on pressstarttv.com coming soon. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye.